I'm an introvert. This is not my natural habitat. But I'm really grateful to be here and talk to you a little bit about the impact of space and the space that we create at Outright. So Outright Vermont's mission is to create safe, healthy, and supportive environments for queer, trans, and questioning youth throughout the state. And in so many areas of their lives, queer and trans youth are outsiders. They have disproportionate rates of depression, suicidal ideation, and experiences of violence. And that's not because of any internal flaws, but because of the world that they have to move through. It's the toll of constant harassment, of isolation. It's the toll of a world that demands that they conform and prune themselves in some really terrible ways. So at Outright, creating places for youth to be themselves is the most sacred work we do. In the summertime, that means creating a place we call Camp Outright, which is a place that the youth call Queertastic Homotopia. <laughs> youth come from all over the state, actually all over the world, with suitcases full of clothes they've been told not to wear, and makeup they've never gotten to try, and rainbow-colored everything. They sign up for archery and tie-dye, and for those who become too old to be campers themselves, we have a counselor in training program so that they can continue to come because they can't stand the thought of leaving. Youth make friends who never question their names and pronouns. They interact with adults who don't ask them to make themselves smaller for our comfort. It's where they find their people. The first summer I worked at Outright, I met a youth I'm gonna call Lily. She had her hair all over her face, just like this. She looked down at the floor and she hardly spoke but if you could coax it out, she had a laugh that could fill a room. Clothes were clearly her medium. Lily had an impeccable, gothy, steampunk look, lots of black, lots of dark, lots of gray. And she was really proud of the look that she curated. You could tell that that was what she was most passionate about. And the first time I saw her shyly smile was when someone noticed that her earrings were in the shape of gears. Lily is a trans girl, which means that she was assigned male at birth, but knows herself to be a girl. And over the course of the week, she leaned on her peers for support and advice. That's Rufus, our resident unicorn. <laughs> she found community there. She, bo she bonded with other youth over fashion and showed up with the biggest, most glorious dance moves at queer prom I have ever seen. Just limbs out to here. Nobody could keep up with Lily. But at the end of the week, Lily couldn't bear the thought of going back to a world that judged her so immediately and so harshly, to places that make it so hard for her to just be herself. And so the sense of panic just kept rising and rising until she finally let staff know that she didn't think she could get home on the train by herself safely. She had medication with her and she thought she might try to take her own life. And so after some deep talks and some safety planning, we watched Lily's family come get her and we worried about what the future might hold for her. So fast forward all that one year and we're back at camp and Lily is back and her fashion is still on point but she has expanded. Her colors are bold, her gestures are expansive, her hair is bright blue. You can hear her laugh all the way from across the soccer fields. And those same dance moves are still there. Lily was 125% herself this year. She just showed up in spades. And it was so glorious to witness. It was like watching the sun peek around clouds and warm up the earth. Her exuberance was absolutely contagious. Through the week, Lily was someone that other youth turned to for support and encouragement themselves. She held space for her peers truthfully and with an open heart, often listening for what was underneath the surface, surface, gently encouraging her friends to think more deeply about, inter, about issues like intersecting oppressions, feminism, and the lived experiences of trans people. At the end of the week, I stuck close by Lily, listening for the slightest hint of the darkness that almost engulfed her the year before. We found ourselves at the kitchen sink at the same time, and I noticed she was a little quiet and a little nervous. I asked what was on her mind, and in a really tiny, really shy voice, she said, do you think I'll make a good counselor in training? 
I'd really like to apply. And just like now, my heart almost burst. But I managed to say, absolutely, you should. We should be so lucky. A year ago, Lily couldn't picture surviving the day. And now she was picturing herself as a peer leader a year later. Camp Outright is created to do exactly that become a refuge where youth flourish, become 125% themselves. Outright Vermont is about creating spaces that validate queer and trans youth, and it isn't just good work. It isn't just heartwarming. It's absolutely life-saving. So thank you for listening to me and my weepy self. <laughs>